Hi guys, Hackers here again, and um, now we're going to start on the Skyline series. Now, I love Skylines. I absolutely adore them. They are amazing. So, we're going to start with the R32 and make us work to the 33 and the 34. Now, the 32 doesn't look the best from the, uh, the back, if I'm honest with you. It looks a bit, I mean, from the front. I mean, looking at it um, from the front, I mean, you can see the front mount. It um, doesn't look as good as the other ones. I mean, it's still got a classic Skyline back end. I think this was 93. Yeah, 1993. The game class it has. It, um, first in the Skyline and the proper the, the Skyline as we know them today. I mean, yes, the, uh, the C11 2000 was released in the early 70s, but that isn't a Skyline like this is a Skyline. I've already managed to pick a couple of faults with it. I've never driven this car before. First of all, the steering wheel looks like it comes from a bus. It's just that two spoke job. Oh no, it's got three. I'll let it off on that, but it, um, the way the middle of it's shaped, it aims downwards and it looks really big so it looks like it's from a bus. Secondly, the speed needle is ill designed as I will prove. Right. Third, it clocks out to 108 to the speed needle. Oh, I didn't make it to 180. But it's still, um, still pretty quick. It's got a producer's 320 horsepower from a 2.6 litre twin turbo engine. I think it's a twin turbo. So uh, it's a pretty nice, not the best looking car, but it's pretty good on performance. Like now, I will prove the ill-designed speed needle. Look, 112 miles an hour, right, and the needle stops completely. Like it just gets to 180 and then it stops. I mean, they obviously designed it for high revs and new camshafts because the uh, revs go to 10. This is the hot lap. It's a bit like the, it's a bit like the RX-8. The needle goes right round to 10. I need to be thinking about the score really. I mean, it doesn't look the best car. Awesome drift. But um, it, I've got to, I can't do speed until I've done the lap, but it's looking pretty promising. It's looking better than that S15. It's got a little bit of Skyline Trilogy in it, like Skylines do, but um, it just looks a bit, a bit like a half done job, that makes it quick. The 131.5. Switch my lamp on and move everything. My lamp um, has a habit of melting things. It, um, it managed to melt my house probably the other night, which is quite annoying. So uh, I have to be careful. So if that did a 131.4, well, it's rammed down, it makes it sound better. So um, speed, it's going to score an 8. No, make it a 7. Looks. Going to be a five. I'm sorry. And price, it only costs thirteen thousand credits, so it's going to be a nine. It's going to be seven. 
the score is 7, it scores the same as the RX-8. This piece can go away and proper testing can start. I am... Um, the little, my little secret is I um, I have a piece of paper with um, the court stats written down because I have to remember that many different stats for all these reviews it's impossible to remember some of it. Like that jumps a lot of wheel spin. I um, I have to do the smoke test. And I find this a better test. Drop, lock it into reverse. You lock it into reverse and go backwards quite quickly and you drop it into first, although it kills your gearbox and your clutch, and um, sometimes chucks out some wheels, but better when you go in first to backwards. Unlike the S15, it looks a little bit like the S15 actually. Those indicators, I don't know what's happening with them because they just stick out randomly. But um, that was our review on the Skyline R32. Next I'll be doing one on the 33, so be sure to watch that. Should be in the playlist, so um, it should just repeat on after this. Thanks for watching, and we hope you made your day a better day. Hang on, before I leave, there's no tread on those tyres. They're like road tyres and they're bald. That's like illegal in the UK. Oh, I scratched the back. Anyway, thanks for watching.